Yo, what is up guys, it is Sweep here and we are back with another Clash Royale YouTube video and we just finished 4th in Worlds, which is, you know, I wish we could have finished better, you know, I obviously was aiming for number 1, but, you know, as a team that nobody expected anything of, you know, fucking 4th in World Finals is a good thing. I'm gonna put on just, like, my matches. I wish I played more, though. Uh, the rest of my team was super nervous, I wasn't nervous at all during this, but, you know, it is what it is. I, I can't actually record any like new gameplay. I still got the developer build on my phone, so I can't actually, you know, record any new gameplay. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put on some background thing and talk about worlds. Uh, congrats to Queso. Uh, they they worked hard. Ruben was a fucking god during this whole world finals, and yeah, they they honestly worked hard for it and it showed. So here we are, my first match. I ran Eagle. Uh, we, we only prepared for SK, and. Uh, Cause we, we had no idea if we like there's no point like preparing for ponos or queso because you don't know who you're gonna face yet so for me uh what i ended up doing here was i just kind of played my game and you know it, 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 it went well it went well uh <laughs> i looked depressed i i was not happy uh when you're always put into the position where it's you know win or lose uh it really does a thing on your mindset and I, I like I hate being in this position. I love having a bit of leisure. You know what I mean? I hate being oh it's all up to you. You got a clutch now, or it's a clutch or kick moment. I don't like that. I I, I don't I don't do that. So yeah, uh, you can see on my face, man. I'm just I'm, I'm not vibing. I'm listening to music. I have metal on in the background. I'm just playing my game because you know that's what you gotta do. You just gotta play your game, be comfortable. And yeah, I'm vibing. I'm just, mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, you're, you're allowed to listen to music, so you might as well, right? So I was just playing my game. Um, I played Eagle because I was like, no, nobody has tried to slime me yet. Uh, the only slime I did get was Morin. But like, people don't realize my my best deck is Eagle. I've uh, my highest finish with Eagle. My most success is with Golem decks. You know what I mean? And yeah, it, it is what it is. So I was like, fuck it, I'll run Eagle. So I ran Eagle in this first match, and I was like, just. I, I, I didn't care if I lost or won, and that, that's really scary. If you like, if you face somebody that doesn't care what the result is, they're they're gonna play good. They're not gonna make mistakes. So yeah, I play this game really good. This is actually a pretty tough matchup. Um, a lot of people were saying this, this is his matchup, and I could I could agree to that. But if I didn't play perfect, then it would have been really bad. Uh, the goal in this matchup, this is gonna be completely irrelevant because we're moving Barba next season. Uh, you want to bar put, throw earthquake at the new Eagle in the back, and once you get that cycle going, you're really good to get like a really good push. That's why I tried to do this whole game. So yeah, kind of just keep going back and forth here. Barb up out of high, so my E-Drag goes back against the Archers. That was a well played. I played this game good, you know. I, I, I'm not upset with my performance in Worlds. I got a 50% win rate. But like I said, I wish I played more. Um, I'm not someone who gets nervous. I don't get nervous. I, I, I don't care enough to get nervous, if that makes sense. It's one of those really strange mentalities that you can't explain to anybody, but I hate the game. I fucking hate the game. I, I don't like the game at all. Um, and then the fact is that that makes me play better. They, the game's easy. They, they, you know what I mean? I, did, I didn't have a world like a phone before Worlds. I had to submit a dev account a week like a week before so I couldn't practice because you needed a dev account. Uh, so that really did something. Uh, you know, it's not the coach's fault for not playing me. Uh, it makes sense, you know, this guy wasn't able to practice as much as the other players, but... You know, I just... The game's simple. The game's really easy. Um, you just place cards and you win. It's weird to say that, but, like, if, if, if I get a good matchup, if I get at least, like, a 60-40, yeah, I should win it, you know what I mean? Unless I get completely outplayed or, like, they make a prediction play, I should win the matchup. Because that, that's how the game works, you know what I mean? The game's, game's matchup-based. Um, so yeah, I just, I said, fuck it. It's the, it's it. Everything's on the line. We didn't prepare any decks. You know, I'll just play whatever's comfort for me. And that's what I did. And now I really wish I had another season that, you know, shine more. Just knowing that I could play like under pressure, like way better in 1v1 sets. Cause like, I, I, I didn't play versus Nova and I was really upset about that. And like getting benched is a really bad feeling. Like, nobody likes getting benched, especially in, like, the biggest match of your life where we almost lost, but then, you know, walls clutched up. Uh, I was actually pretty upset that I, I almost didn't get the chance to shine. So here, here's the play, double eagle. Yeah, it, it makes that really hard to defend. Uh, Nato, I wanted to try to Nato the Hunter too, but, you know, he played, uh, he didn't have enough flexor, but he also played pretty patient. So, like, here, I already knew I won because I have Fireball. That's why I like running Fireball because if you don't have a big spell, 
getting into a position like this, like say he defended this push, he could earthquake cycle me out, you know what I mean? Because I wouldn't have time to build another e golem push. So like, you know how people run golem without a big spell? I like running golem with the lightning because I always feel like their tower gets down to 300 HP and then you're sitting there like, fuck, how do I take this now? And yeah, that's not fun. So like here was just defense, 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 fireball, defense. I wasn't even happy about it. I look, I just look stressed. <laughs> just listen to music. So that's all I was doing. But yeah, uh, the fact that we, we even got fourth in the world uh, with like barely any support from anybody, it, it proves a lot of people wrong. I'm happy about that. And I'll explain something that went on in this game because I was talking to Carpe about it. Let's just skip over a bit. But yeah. I'm still happy, you know, I'm a bit upset that we couldn't have gone farther. I was really hoping for the World Finals, and I really wish I could have played more too, and not just, you know, play one game against more and lose because I got 100 owed in the second game. Not the second game, the third game, because that game was... Ooh, we don't want to talk about matchups there. I should have just ran Eagle you know what I mean? It's just one of those things where it's like, man, should have just went straight to Comfort and ran Eagle and would have clapped him with that. Uh, but, you know what, you can't change, you can't change the past. So, the thing... <laughs> I'm just happy, you know what I mean? Fourth place. Uh, if things do go bad, because uh, things could actually go really bad right now uh, for payment-wise. And if stuff does go bad, I will let you guys know. And I will be making a huge exposed video soon if stuff does not go well. I thought it was Royal Giant. So that's why I did this play. Because if it was Royal Giant, I won the game right here. Because he, he had nothing. But it was not Royal Giant. I was like, I just lost. You can see it in my face, I was like, yeah, it's a good game. I wish I had Mega Knight, that would've been hilarious. Dodger did nothing. Yeah, this matchup was really rough. Um. Yeah, I don't think he win that matchup. But anyways, so the matchup is more, and he had NATO. I had, I had Balloon. He had NATO. He was, especially when I had Inferno Dragon 2. Like, that shit was rough. That shit was rough. So I, I just try, I tried my best. And, you know, it, it is what it is. Eighty percent win rate in King of the Hill two, and I didn't play. Man, I like I, I still wish I had more trust for my team. I really do. That that is the only regret I have is not playing more. Because obviously, like you you want to play on a stage like this. Like th this is your time to play. And just you know, it sucks. It really does suck. I'm thinking there's a saving grace here because like he only does have a magic archer and I'm like oh yeah that takes tower that's a shame that was a good game <laughs> so I'm just kind of going over the matches explaining my thought process of things that really need to be explained like this needs this needs no explaining you know what I mean this was a rough matchup uh, what was I expecting? Nothing. I just wanted to play. I felt like I wanted to play Becca. That's really it. That's <laughs> really all that it came down to. So that I wanted to play Becca, so I did. Uh, probably should have played more patient, but you know what I mean? I would have won the game if it was Royal Giant. Future for YouTube. That's a good topic that I could talk about right now. Um, probably going to upload a Clash. Uh, for the new league, I'm not going to do shit. Uh, it's not worth it. It's really not. I'm probably gonna go back to school, finish schooling, just get life together, shit like that. Uh, fourth place first season. I'm happy about that. Can't complain, right? Can't complain. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm so worried because. Man, 
the, there's so much future to think about now. Like almost every pro is quitting. You know what I mean? There's so much future to think about. People are like, oh yeah, now's the time to jump on and be a pro because everyone's quitting. Well, that's just that's just a shitty mentality, man. Like if you have to rely on the good players quitting to actually play, you know what I mean? Or have a chance, like you're not good. That, that, that doesn't make you good. <laughs> like, does that make sense? Yeah, that does make sense. Since every good player quit, like Lapicotti, XOP Sam, Javi, you know, all these amazing players are quitting. And the fact that like, now you're like, oh, I guess it's my turn. Like, no, you're not. You're, you're still gonna be shit. But there's still gonna be players better than you. There's players like Adnan who are gonna come up and all those other players. I mean, like even Boss used to work super hard. Like those players will still keep you at the top. Like it's not, it's not the time to get in the pro scene, you know what I mean? Just just because good players quit doesn't mean like, oh, now all of a sudden I'm going to be a good player. It doesn't work like that. You got to put hard work. You got to put in a lot of time like I did. And at the end of the day, that's all, that's all it is. It's a lot of time and a lot of hard work. Skip over to the match. Final match. What did I run? Oh, yeah, I ran Royal Giant. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I like this deck. This deck's fun. The good thing about me is that, like if any other team was like if Cyril was like gonna be around next season, uh, it's so hard to snipe me. I will run anything. I don't give a shit. I I I, I will put in time. I will watch a lot of ladder. I'll watch the best players play their best decks. You know what I mean? That's what I'll do. That that's how I, I practice become good. I I will I will make another video of how I like how I train. You know what I mean? How I train to become like good enough to where I don't even need to play the game because I, I don't play the game a lot. Um, other than like practice, I kind of play the game just normally, right? This game I went super sane mode. Like this was a good defense. Four barbs. I was kind of impressed by this. Like, oh, I did that so perfect. But that, that was a perfect defense. So I went here because I knew he was probably going to play an Ice Wiz. If he played an Ice Wiz, I took his tower. If he plays a Hunter, I just, you know. That was an overcommit. I knew you were overcommitted there. I was up elixir. Um, I probably should have rolled a giant right at six. Kind of did, but I should have done it way earlier. Like just like spam tap that. But I had a good idea that he overcommitted on defense, and like that that was a lot of damage. That was just because he misplayed it early on. You know, and. Yeah, now, now, now I'm in a comfort zone. I know he's down on Elixir. Um, I'm not really trying to win here. I'm trying to keep my Elixir advantage up. Because I know he's, he's going to try to get desperate for damage to him. Because that's what a lot of players do. So I'm like, I could probably just Earthquake Cycle him. Um, surprised he didn't have Graveyard there. He was like hovering it. Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to like, you know, Earthquake Cycle. That, that was my idea right now is like not let him get a big enough push keep like try to get my giant skeleton like not play my because the way i lose this is a bad giant skeleton. if i giant skeleton on the back and he goes like uh knight baby dragon bar barrel graveyard and he like predicts my hunter on his baby dragon that's how i'll lose this game so i'm trying to like play a good enough like giant skeleton to where i can't lose the game because yeah like that's this is the push he's trying to do right here and you know i just do a good defense as usual my, my defense on this game are on point, like, gosh. So right here, I know I know I'm up again. Um, so I, like, I knew you overcommitted there and that's gonna die. So I giant skilled on the back because I know I'm free to do that. And the, the fact that I could giant skilled on the back like that really lets me like get a good play. So I know I know he's gonna get desperate because I giant skilled on the back and I can't like body block. I try to place as far to the right as I could. Um, so I just go to the other lane. And like it kind of did, you know. This was scary when I when I saw more skeletons earlier. I was like, "Holy shit, that's a lot of skeletons!" So I got scared and I played that giant skeleton. That giant skeleton actually won me the game because I didn't know he was this low on elixir. And that was a really bad night too. Um. 
So I just like right here, when I see the Giants, like once the Giants kind of gets to the tower, I'm like, okay, he's so low on Elixir, I can just roll Giant at the bridge here and, I, and I, I'll win. Because he can't, he, he needs to get that off the tower, or that's going to take his tower, right? So I just had a big enough counter push from him, like getting desperate for damage. Which kind of had to do, because once they had trouble, like there was no way he was getting past, like me just spamming troops and him like not even build a graveyard it. So there we go. I, I clutched up. I, I could have beat more in two, but like, you know. If I played a King of the Hill, I'd probably been way more warm and used to the stage. And having all the pressure after seeing your team lose 2v2 in King of the Hill is just not good. Not good. Very, very few players can do that, like Ruben. Like Ruben did good. But even he played in King of the Hill, so. Yeah, we won that. Uh, Wallace, I'm not, I'm not upset with Wallace at all. He, he's the reason why we are here. He did 7 and 1 versus Nova. Like what a god he is, right? Uh, there, guys. Thank you for watching. Sorry if this video was a bit more, uh, you know, monotone. Uh, I'm still comprehending everything. I'm, I'm, st I mean, I'm in a lost state. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm, I'm fucking lost right now. Uh, I, I don't know what I want to do. Just, there's a lot to think about. Um, we finished fourth, and I, I did, I did my job. I, I barely lost to Morin, and I, you know, beat KK. So yeah. Thank you guys for everyone who supported us to the end. <laughs> the very few of you. Uh, but yeah, look, look out for my recent, like, some of my newer YouTube videos, because there's just gonna be some serious videos coming out, uh, talking about, you know, the league and my team and shit like that. And yeah, guys, thank you. Thank you guys a lot. I mean, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.